you know what? I want to make a shirt that says, I pressed cycle start six times and all I got was four lousy parts. Write that down. Well, we got a brand new product. And in this week's Fixture Friday, we're talking about our new Max 4 rotary pallet system. And I'm going to share the story of why we developed it and how, once again, high density work holding helped us absolutely fly through production. Let's get started. I was made for this. I was made for this. Now, believe it or not, this part right here was the inspiration for developing our new Max 4 rotary pallet system. Now, the old way of producing these parts was a total pain, mainly because we were only machining two parts per cycle with four operations per part. But with our Max 4 and our Pro Pallet system, we're now getting nine 100% finished parts every time we hit cycle start. Now let's talk about this part and I'll show you why it used to be a total pain to produce. So the part we're talking about is what we call an inlet bridge. Now it's not easily seen, but this part is the interface from the front of our vacuum chucks to the inside. So it has one op for this face, another op for the bottom, and then this being our longest size, we opted to drill through from both sides. So op three and then on op four. Now we do this so that the drill doesn't walk. Shorter parts, we do it in one shot, but this one, we do it in two. So as with any new part, we started out holding them in a double vise for ops one through four. Now, needless to say, this was incredibly laborious, especially because of the short cycle times of ops two, three, and then four. Now, as a lean manufacturer, we practice continual improvement, which means we actively ditch the old mentality of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That, that's, a, that's like dark ages mindset. I'm, I'm gonna rant. We gotta be better than that is the main point. So the next step was to move it over to our Rotovice Pro. Now the Rotovice was great. We were able to hold four parts and hit three sides, including the side drilling. Then we ran those parts in an adjacent double vise to finish the bottom. So now we've gone from four ops to two, great, but we can do better because between op one on the road device and op two to finish the parts in a double vise, there was a quantity mismatch every cycle where we were completing four parts for op one and then only two parts for op two. So all that to say, that's where the inspiration for our max four rotary pallet system came from. Now let's take a closer look. Now, these new rotary pallets come in several sizes. Now, before I go on, keep in mind that the goal of high density work holding is to get as many parts as possible in the machine per cycle, which minimizes the waste of excessive numbers of tool changes, and then getting those parts in and out of the machine with minimal downtime. So whenever you make a fixture, you always want two of them so that while one set of parts is being machined, the slow process of swapping finished parts for raw material is done outside of the machine. That's how you keep the spindle turning. Swapping nine parts with three operations in 20 seconds is pretty awesome, but it gets better. Now on our workbench, we take the finished op one parts and immediately flip them onto a PPS pallet. Then both sets of pallets get swapped at the end of each cycle. So this one-two punch is how we get nine finished parts per cycle using the Max 4 and our Pro Pallet system. Now let's take a closer look at the fixture design of these Max 4 pallets. Now we started with one of our off-the-shelf round pallets, which have a 5.9 inch diameter and a six inch height. 
Now, when we laid it out in CAD, these parts were just a little too long for four sides and clearance would have been a little tight. So we took the safe approach of doing three sides per pallet. Now on the shorter versions of the inlet bridge, we actually do four parts, but again, we prioritize safety and reliability over capacity. Now, if you notice right here, we actually put these clamps in the same section and did a staggered offset. Now, when we laid it out, we would have run out of space with the typical patterned approach of part clamp, part clamp, part clamp. So sharing a row for clamps is a nice strategy to achieve even higher density of work holding. Now, the design of the MAX4 system makes it so that there's no way to load pallets indexed incorrectly. But since there is only one way to index them correctly, we engraved these visual indicators to help the operator orient the pallets in the machine correctly. So how about some basic stats? Now the old approach of running two parts in a double vise required six cycles to produce four finished parts. Take a look at this. Two parts op one, repeat for another two parts, do a setup change to run two parts for op two, repeat for the next two parts. Now we finally have four profiled parts and those go into op three again in another setup, flip them, do another setup, finish op four. You know what? I wanna make a shirt that says, I press cycle start six times and all I got was four lousy parts. Write that down. But seriously, if you do the math, the ratio of cycles to parts in this Fixture Friday approach is 13 and a half times more efficient and the operator gets to actually walk away from the machine for over an hour and a half to work on other important things around the shop. So hopefully seeing these numbers will show you that the old it ain't broken approach, it's broken. Now this is probably a better topic for my podcast or a future Pearson Workholding Q&A, but let me just leave you with this. When I hear owners and managers talking about how they can't find good people or get the good people to stick around, it's because no one, especially the next generation of manufacturers, wants to stand in front of a machine all day doing the drudgery work of loading a single or double vise. Use our creativity, make fixtures, load the machines, let them do their thing, and free up people to do the type of work that they love. That right there is how we can all move the state of manufacturing forward. So until next time, go innovate your production.